Hey guys, how you going? Baltastic Man here, doing talking about some more Paladin Strike information, not doing a gameplay in this video here. The next character to come to Paladin Strike will be Inara. So we're just gonna go through how well, her, what she is on the um, PC. They have talked about her in the dev chat, about her and what abilities that she will have and what abilities won't be coming through. But I'm just gonna show you so you can see for yourself what she looks like. And also she'll be having a human skin as well. So I'll be popping that picture up as well. Now you can check that out. Everyone's getting confused saying, hey, she's you know, meant to be you know stone. But now she's actually got a human skin and people are getting a bit worried saying, is that going to be the usual standard her? But no, her human skin is just going to be a skin that you can buy on top of her. It's going to probably cost like 600 crystals or something like that. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Anara. Here we go. One of the few remaining staggers. Staggler. Sorry, I pronounced that completely wrong. Anara was reluctant but oath-bound to join the paladins in their time of need. Originally created to help Ancient Order repel the first surge of the goblin enroachment, the, st the stone people summoned for generations before being... S sorry, the stone people slumbered for generations before being summoned to battle once again. I'm just stumbling all over my words, sorry. Inara was slow to act, but after, after witnessing the atrocities committed by the Maastricht trait... Ma Magistrate, she threw herself into the fight to be to be on behalf of the resistance, healing the call of Valera and the Paladins once again. Here we go. Summary coming soon. Here we go. No, no summary. I thought there would be a bit of summary can go through it. But here we go. Title: She is a Stone Warden. She is a frontline cost. You don't have to worry about that because in Paladins, she's probably going to cost like I don't know. I think it's like five hundred crystals. Gold, remember you can't get them with gold and paladins anymore. It is um champion shards. And here we go. Health. You don't have to worry about health and speak, so we're different in paladins. But first off, we have who have a moves. We do have your stone spear, which is a direct damage, fire a burst of three projectiles, dealing 225 damage over 0.3 seconds, averaging 1.25 seconds of medium range. So after you know, that's as far as I'll go. After 1.25 seconds, that's as far as I'll go. And then it'll deplete you can tell from the radius when you bring up your um <laughs> primary attack earth guardian enter a defense stance that lasts five seconds where you and your depicables take 30 percent reduced damage and and you take 30 60 so where 30 came from again 60 percent increased healing so that's pretty cool so you put up a shield where you are taking damage but thing is what it you take damage but you take more healing which is still pretty cool impassable this thing is gonna be Im impassy this thing is going to be really awesome. It's going to change a whole lot of games. If using this move in Siege, also in Summons, is going to be really good. But I think more in Siege is going to work wonders. Deploy a wall that grows out of the ground and lasts five seconds. If this is going to be exactly the same five seconds in Paladin Strike, this thing is going to be good. Just imagine you're playing Summons and, you know, someone's about to take the point, but you just run up there or roll, go up, roll up there and this that wall just comes out of the ground. And they will, you know, no one will be able to get past it. Or you're in siege, and you know they're trying. You've got the cart, and people are coming to, coming towards the cart. And if you can make it right toward nearly their spawn point and drop that wall up, that means they have to walk right around to try and get to you guys with the siege cart. And it's going to be really awesome. Anyway, wondrous field. This is the thing. This is the move they are taking out. I think from listening for the dev chat. I have to listen to it again because I only listen to it once. But I have to listen to it again. Sorry. Place a stone obsolete that pulses and slows enemies for sixty percent and deals one hundred and fifty percent damage per second. I think that's the one they're taking out and leaving in her seismic seismic crash ultimate. Sorry, I pronounced that completely wrong. Throw her spear. Passing through shields and stunning any enemy within within 40 units of its impact for two seconds and dealing 500 damage. So basically, that's going to be an ultimate move: throwing the spear down and just knocking everyone with that damage of 500. This will be really awesome. So, as I'm saying, what I'm looking forward to the most is that wall. When that wall goes up, <laughs> Donald Trump's going to be impressed with that wall, but. It is gonna it's gonna be a killer. It's gonna be a, like I say, oh it's gonna be a game changer. It's not gonna be a game changer, but it's gonna change the way people run around the map, especially in C I'm not sure it's still trying to work out what's it gonna work better in. Is it gonna work better in Siege or is it gonna work better in Summons? So I'm not really sure. I'm still waiting when's other Siege map. We want more maps, bring the other maps back. That snow map, that map was really awesome in Siege. Now we just got one Siege map. It's like bring I think no, they're still working out other bugs. But other siege maps, come on. So, you know, you change the summons map a little bit. You change the angle of it. And you change the tutorial and all the angles of that. But come on, bring the other siege map. That's what we want to see back. 
but what that wall is going to affect even most, I'm going to put it on siege because those little um, areas where you have to go through and like little choke points, put that wall up, that choke point is completely gone and is non-existent. Anyway, guys, hope you don't like that little information about Inara. She will be dropping, I do not know when. The human skin does look really awesome. It'll probably cost like 600, probably 300 to 600 crystals. I'm not really sure yet. No idea when that's going to drop. I'll tell you guys, make a video about it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this bit of information video about Paladin Strike. And now we're coming soon to Paladin Strike. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and share with your friends. And um, stay tuned for more Paladin Strike content. See you guys later. Bye.